Happy Happy is here with me uh, after LDLC got to the grand final over Navi 2-0. Uh, since we didn't have you for an interview before uh, at DreamHack, uh, let's just first take it to the group stage uh, and your matches, especially against NIP uh, and ESC as well. What did you think uh, about ESC first? ESC like, was like a really easy game because we started CD on Cobblestone and we had literally the perfect half. So I guess there is not much to say about it. And the NIP, I I don't really remember the map. Uh, it was overpass, I think it was 16-13 in the end. Yeah, uh, like it was close, but I think we messed up a few rounds. Probably they did as well, but like it was... We just win, like it, it was a coin toss. Like we won important rounds and yeah, we were the better team at the, at the moment. Afterwards, when you, saw, uh, when you saw the bracket play out, um, how did you feel about meeting Fnatic, like right in the quarterfinals? Well, it was like everyone said, like it was a final before the final. But uh, yeah, it's a bit strange to talk about it because with all the drama that happened. So yeah, we were like not scared, but we we thought like, okay, it's right now or never. So we just went in. Uh, before we get to to the actual overpass game. As you said with the drama, uh, first talk about the first two games that went 1-1. One, one. Um, just walk us through the match basically. Uh, we started on Dust 2 and T side and we had again a really good half. And uh, as always, we it's like a pattern in our team. We make a really good side and then we literally suck on the other. And it was pretty hard to finish the game I think, if I remember. But we finished because we knew that, before the game, we knew that Dust2 was not a strong map for them and we were really confident. And uh, then we, we play cash. We know that we never beat them on cash. So we are like, okay, it's not our map, let's do what we can and let's see from it. And they just crushed us 16-8, I think. Yeah, I think so. And it was like... We didn't really play this game. I mean, we were bad, just bad, and they were better. Now let's go go over to the overpass. Uh, first, talk about the first side because you won 12-3. It was obviously a good side for you. Uh, why do you think that was? We played an amazing city side. Like we won crazy rounds. We were all really strong, and we never gave up. We had like this rage, like a positive rage. We wanted to beat them. It was the last map we never won against them <coughs> in the past three events. So we were like, okay, let's just give it all. And uh, I mean, city side, we yeah, we just played amazing counter strike. Now on the second side, you obviously won a two two v four. Uh, at that point, you probably almost felt like winning the whole the whole match, right? When Shox won his one versus two, I was like, okay, this match is over. It's like, uh, obviously I didn't tell my mate, but in my head it was pretty clear that we had such an advantage. And uh, yeah, after that, we the drama happened. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about the most, obviously. Um, from what I noticed, you actually didn't know what was happening to you for the whole, for the basically for most of the half. Uh, how did you feel like before you actually knew uh, where he was boosted? Well, we on the first echo uh, when Olaf make uh, made uh, double kills, we thought it was uh, he was on uh, you know upper B, so you know it was like okay, bad luck. And then after the side, I uh, since I play B, and uh, on this spot he can spot me really easily. I started to feel like. What the fuck is happening? Like, why is he seeing me here? Like, it's, I don't understand. And for the entire half, I, I, for after the pistol run, we were like, oh, where is he? I mean, we were stuck like at least eight rounds. And then I think I saw it. I saw him on the on the ledge, and but it was like too late. And we were like really shaky. We were really bad mentally. So yeah, it was a terrible match to play. Uh, so how did you feel like after uh, after you you knew that you lost? It was 16-13, I think they went they went basically 14-0 almost afterwards. 13-0, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, but what were your initial feelings after the match? Were you frustrated? Like we we didn't like rage or something. We were. I was personally. I was just 
what did just happen? And yes, after that, some people came to us in the public with pictures of the boost, and we started to like, okay, that's probably that's probably illegal. So yeah, after that, we were just uh, going to file a complaint to the admins. And uh, well, I think everyone knows the, the story. Uh, well, what did you think about the in initial uh, initial decision by DreamHack to play uh, the the second half, basically? Uh, what did they say? Uh, how did you? Uh, what was your what was your input on the the, the initial de decision that you you would play uh, from twelve to three? the second half uh, I don't think they, they did that because like we we passed all the night talking with the admins because w they told us to go to the hotel because it will take a few hours and it was like really strange because we never really get an answer like they never really told us okay you play at 12 3 and etc we were like in the expectative all the time and uh, yeah so I I don't really know but there was a lack of communication between us. Uh, okay, so afterwards you, uh, they basically took another two hours to, to investigate your cases, uh, where you were actually boosted on CT spawn on the truck. Um, how did you feel like afterwards when you, when you realized you had to play the, the, the map again? Uh, it was terrible because, uh, as I said, we were expecting for such a long time. And uh, then they just, I think they just called NBK. And they told him, okay, it's 0-0, zero, zero. let's play again. And we were like so crushed after hearing that because we knew it wasn't fair. And it, we knew it was a bad call from them. And yeah, it just escalated and drama happened. And when we came today in uh, the afternoon, we were so, so down, really so, so down in our, in our heads. So. Well, then you basically realized that, I mean, you were told that Fnatic forfeited the match. Uh, do, would you say that was a good, good call from the management or from the players as well? Uh, what, what happened is we were just right here in the, in the private room where the admins took us. There were like three admins and all the team. And they, like, we didn't know what they were gon going to say. And basically they just, they just were trying to... Guys, we can. The decision has been made, but it was again. It was really a shame, to be honest. Like I asked at some point, why are we talking? Can we reverse the decision? Can we talk? And they just said no. Like it doesn't matter. The decision is made, and we were. We just left. We didn't even finish the meeting. And after that, we had uh, contact with Valve, who told us to come to the hotel. And they were Fnatic, and they told us, okay, Fnatic is forfeiting the match. So obviously, it was a huge relief because we knew we couldn't get any help from DreamHack. And uh, yeah, it was just a relief. So, did Valve actually talk to Fnatic about the whole situation? <coughs> I think they. Yeah, they talked to them, but it was like uh, about like publicity. Like, there were a crisis because uh, they were afraid that CSGO might get hurt from all the drama and they also talk to us to like be more professional I I think we can all agree that some bad things happen during this night and uh, yeah we will we will try to definitely improve that and now let's go over to the semi-final where you meet Matt Navi uh, how did you feel about the matchup uh, before before you actually played as I said, we were like, it has been a roller coaster emotionally. So, like, just one hour before the match, we were told that, uh, okay, we are going to play the semi final against Navy. Mm -hmm. So, I did, not, I did not have any time to, pre to prepare the match. So, did my teammate. So, it was, to be honest, it was just strange because we felt like we were not supposed to be here at the, in the beginning. So, yeah, I mean, we just went in and tried to play in our game and I did a, a talk with my mates. We were like, okay, let's forget all the shit that happened and ju let's, just, mm, let's just get focused on the semi-final because, I mean, we are at a major. It's like one of the biggest land of CSGO and just, again, give it, give it all. Uh, what did you think about the maps uh, after you vetoed? Uh, it just went as we planned, like pretty much all the time and uh, we were not surprised by, by anything and yeah we just played our game. 
Were you at all afraid about uh, Navi's overpass? Because the, uh, it's it's rumored to be their best map, basically, but they decided to pick just two in the end. Uh, were you at all afraid that if you got to the third map that it would get closer? Uh, what I told to my mates is what I know for sure is that those two is actually, I think, their best map. So I was not shocked they didn't pick overpass because we beat them at Yesdobul UC on the last map, I think. So, no, like, we, even if we lost those two, uh, I wouldn't have been afraid of them on overpass. Now, what did you expect from the, from the grand final against an IP? Uh, again, I think we are still in... Uh, bit of a fog, foggy situation, like we still don't really get what's happening, like we are at the final of a major, it's crazy, but we're still like a bit, I don't know, I can't really explain this feeling, but I definitely will give it all again, tell my mate to give it all, and yeah, I mean, it's an IP, you never know, like everyone was talking shit about them, now they are in finals. They are crazy, so and they will have the home advantage from the crowd, which is crazy also. So again, we will just try our best. Okay, thank you for the interview. Do you have anything else to say? Anything to add? Thanks to the sponsors, fans. Uh, I think to get a closure, I will say thanks to Khan and Fnatic. Uh, I will not say if it was a good or bad call. It's up to them, but thanks to them. Um, thanks to Valve for getting into the game. Uh, thanks to my sponsor, Cooler Master, CM Storm, and LDLC. LDLC. And uh, thanks to Lauren. Thank you.